In fiction, death isn't as absolute as it is in real life. Superman famously faced off against Doomsday and died in Superman number 75 in 1992. At the conclusion of the reign of the Superman storyline, Superman was of course revived. In Transformers, Optimus Prime infamously died in the 1986 movie, only to come back in the episode Dark Awakening as a Quintesson controlled zombie. He would later come back in the episode The Return of Optimus Prime. However, for another famous Transformers character, death was only the beginning. Starscream has always been known for his treachery. Some may even question why Megatron kept him around for so long, despite how good his cookies were. Starscream cookies are more than meets the icing! You're wrong, Starscream! I'm always wrong! Starscream's ultimate betrayal came in the 1986 movie. After a battle to the death against Optimus Prime, Megatron was badly wounded. Because Astro Train had difficulty carrying all of the Decepticons, Jettison some weight or I'll never make it to Cybertron. Starscream convinced the Decepticons to discard all of their terribly injured teammates. He then, of course, personally tossed Megatron out with the rest and nominated himself as the new Decepticon leader. After a battle inside Astro Train, Starscream was given command and even had a coronation ceremony that was cut short by Galvatron. Coronation Starscream? This is bad comedy. Who was Megatron reborn after being rebuilt by Unicron. Behold, Galvatron. With one blast by Galvatron in cannon mode, Starscream was reduced to ashes. In the third season episode, Starscream's Ghost, the Decepticon Triple Changer Octane was on the run from Galvatron because he had stolen Trypticon in the episode Thief in the Night. While being pursued by Cyclonus, Scourge, and the Sweeps, Octane finds himself in the Decepticon crypt on Cybertron. Good, then we won't have to take him anywhere when we're done. There he runs into the ghost of Starscream, who possesses Cyclonus. and helps set Galvatron up for an ambush against Rodimus Prime. At the end of the episode, Galvatron blasts Cyclonus, and then Starscream takes over Scorch. In the following episode, Ghost in the Machine, Starscream's possession of Scorch brings them to Unicron, whom Starscream believes can revive him. After reactivating Unicron, Starscream and Scourge are tasked with getting eyes from Metroplex, Trypticon's transformation cog, and Unicron then wants to connect his head to Cybertron so that he has a body again. In the end, in a moment of desperation, Starscream demands Unicron revive him to finish the job. Unicron does so, but a bomb planted by the Autobots blasts both Unicron and Starscream into deep space. Galvatron would then chase Starscream as he is tumbling. The next time Starscream as a ghost would appear was in the Beast Wars episode, Possession. By coming through a rift in time and space, Starscream's spark came and possessed Waspinator. Being as treacherous as he is, Starscream helps the Predacons take over the Maximal base only to betray Beast Wars Megatron. At the end, his spark is blasted back into space after Waspinator's body is shot into a million pieces. Poor Waspinator. Starscream's ghost would return in various toy tie-in manga and Japanese manga magazines as well. No, we, we will not mention Kiss players. Just, 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 no. As for the toys, Starscream's ghost first came in a 2001 reissue of his G1 toy in translucent plastic. Subsequent toys of G1 Starscream have also been released with translucent plastic as Ghost Starscream versions. The most recent was part of Grand Galvatron. 
The toy was a repaint of Combiner Wars Skydive with a new head and translucent plastic. The story is, is that a Galvatron from a different timeline merged with Cyclonus as a head within his chest. The two met with Unicron who gave them a team of Decepticons from other timelines. A Dimension Trapped Roller, Breakdown from Transformers Prime, Thrust from Transformers Armada, as well as the Ghost of Starscream. Knowing how treacherous he could be, Unicron only partially gave Starscream a body that still had ghost-like abilities. The team could merge to form Grand Galvatron. Recently announced is the Japanese Legends version of Titan's Return Octane, which will come with a Headmaster Starscream that is translucent as a homage to the episode Starscream's Ghost. Outside of G1 in the Unicron trilogy, Starscream was resurrected in Transformers Energon by Alpha Q 10 years after his death in Transformers Armada. Because Alpha Q did not have enough Energon, Starscream was in a ghost-like state until Megatron turned him into a loyal servant once again. With Starscream coming back as a ghost, it makes one wonder how could this be. From what we know in a later Beast Wars episode, Bad Spark, it was known that Starscream's spark was mutated and indestructible. No one truly knows how or why this occurred, but some have said that Starscream's will to live and never give up attitude might have coincided with his Sparks mutation. An attempt by the Maximals to copy that ability created Protoform X, who ended up being a raging monstrous warrior and later went by the name Rampage. He transformed into a crab and a tank, but his Spark wasn't as indestructible as Starscream's as seen in the final Beast Wars episodes when he battled Depth Charge. Starscream's indestructible spark also begs the question, did anyone including Starscream know about this before Galvatron vaporized him? Will anyone else attempt to fill in his shoes? You might be asking this question if you were looking for a reason to answer why Megatron kept Starscream around. However, the reality is that not even Starscream knew about it. Please, don't fire! I, I, I was wrong. I shouldn't have done it. Please, don't shoot! Had he, he might have prepared for his demise with a new body ahead of time to transfer to, much like the Autobots did in the Japanese Binaltech storyline. Also, the whole quest to gain a body again in Ghost in the Machine would have been pointless if Starscream could just inhabit a dead body. Another question that gets asked a lot is what happened to the tumbling and alive Starscream at the end of Ghost in the Machine? If one is to consider Beast Wars a sequel to the G1 cartoon, which most consider it as such, then the very much alive Starscream would have needed to be killed again before the episode Possession takes place. To reconcile this, it's possible that Starscream Spark traveled back in time through a transwarp hole created by the Axelon and Darkseid, possessed Waspinator, and then got blasted back into space and back through time into 2006 before the episode Starscream's Ghost and Ghost in the Machine. However, I like to believe that in order to hide from Galvatron's wrath, Starscream took the disguise as a classic pretender until Galvatron found him and destroyed him again. But he's a goose. Die, you it would give reason for the new toy that was released in 1988. In the end, that's just my theory. At least within the cartoon universe, anyway. But what do you think? How did Starscream Spark become mutated and indestructible? And where does he fit into the timeline with the Beast Wars Possession episode. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you like this video, be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. I have more Transformers discussion videos like this coming soon, so stay tuned. And as always, until next time.